So I'm way more confused than I expected I'd be. I'm like, uh, going through this, like, wait, did this thing already happen? And, uh, what's, what's the chronology going on here? I was, wasn't sure if we already did the, um, the part we're about to do. It's, it's, this is really, uh, disorienting. Oh well. That's the price of your stuff breaking, I guess. Dr. Yu! What's Morgan! Up? up here! Officer Cool! Austin we Cole. can't open the main door or our friends are gonna pour through. Get up to the catwalk. We'll get you inside. If you're so cool, why can't you do it yourself? Um, I'm gonna eradicate this guy here with this auto turret. Shoot that thing, idiot. That's what I remember. Okay. <laughs> uh, I really thought that turret would do something more than nothing. Doctor, you, Morgan. I guess up here. it did take Officer him down cool. to like half. Health, we can't open but... the main door, or our friends are gonna pour through. Get up to the catwalk. We'll get you inside. Is he saying these these friends frenemies? I forgot I could uh forgot I could lean. How silly of me. Utter foolishness. Oh, come, come back like two feet. Oh. No, no, don't walk away. Oh. Okay. Do you know about me now? Yes. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. Yeah. Oh, I love this shotgun. Oh no. Not good. Not good. Oh, that's just unfair. Come on. Um, actually, let's see if there's not a... A thingy station. Here's something. It's unpowered. Okay. Let's, uh... Eat this apple. And I don't need Psy energy. I don't need nothing. Um, oh, these are unpowered too. Hmm. Hey, you guys hey. want to let me in? Let me open the door, 
Austin, cool, you just saw me on the other side. Come on. I don't think these PPN pistols are going to do the trick. Not much choice. We did a check of all Igwe's equipment. All genuine, no organic matter. He's clean. Oh, they have to do mimic checks on every, like, their... Every little single thing. Uh, send someone to find a cutting torch. We need to get into these cargo cages and see what supplies are in here. Okay. Mm. Yeah. That's the way up. Or the way down, I guess. Captain Elazar will want to speak to you. Okay. We only recently learned you were still on the station. Heard Wait. Dr. Igwe was floating in a cargo crate. Dr. Igwe is blessed. Oh, okay, it was fortunate buddy. you came along when you did. Of us. Uh, see you later then, I guess. Uh, let's go up. God, watching those things move makes me sick. Morgan, you. I'm surprised you escaped Simlab. Yes, I knew about that. I checked the shuttle logs when the rumors about you being demoted started circulating. All I found was you checked into the sim lab but never signed out. Not sure you could, but it seems you've escaped. Just like these creatures of yours, the ones your brother said couldn't get free. Wish I had better news. We're holding out here, but just barely. These standard issue PPNs might as well be cap guns for all the good they do to those things. Only way back into Talos is through Cargo Bay B, and that's locked tight for our safety. And yours. You want the code? Help us fortify things here. That means eradicator turrets, and lots of them. To do that, though, we'd need fabrication plans and a working fabricator. Mm -hmm. And both of those are out of reach at the moment. Yes. The fabrication plan is in the safe in the security office. But the hull breach puts it out of my reach. Still, if you have a suit and are up for another walk, we could really use the additional firepower. Look, I don't know what you're planning, Morgan, but just remember, the only thing that matters is how you treat the people that are still alive. I am worried the lifts were sealed for a reason, but I don't know if that will prevent the aliens from moving through the station. Okay. Remember, it's the eradicator fabrication plan we want, not the reployer plan. Whatever the hell a reployer is. Again, I want to thank you for the timely rescue. If you find a way out I of here, take the- I hope you recall me. Maybe he Dr. Can Igwe. Stop talking Dio, one Igwe. at a time. Your brother, Alex, brought me to the station to head up Neuromod research. Dr. Igwe. I have one, Pizza. but no aptitude template. Luck, I suppose. We're saving it, but well, now might be best. Here. I'm sure you could make better use of it. But that you doesn't have, mean we don't have places you to have be. The talking we need rails. those turrets. You can only talk while holding that. Transcribe. Hey, are you there? Chief? Yes? Is there something wrong? I wanted to speak to you about the most recent VIP visit. Leitner, the pianist. Chief, if there were any problems, I checked the schedule, the roster. I did my best to make sure Igwe wasn't too... Igwe. Chief, <laughs> I haven't had Leitner's cigarettes waiting. You did an excellent job. In fact, Leitner praised you specifically. There'll be a bonus for you in your next pay Those cycle. Things will eventually take find Nicole out for a nice dinner, don't take all right? The fight to them. Yes, Chief. Thank you, Chief. Uh, there's something else here. Oh, hey, ammo. Four neuromods, nice. I'll take that for sure. Note. Uh, please relay the following to the security crew at the next staff meeting. Earthside sent a very good appraisal of our provisioning and cargo staff during last month's visit by a board of directors, me directors member. Tell's cargo staff performed admirably during the inspection. Well done. Keep up the good work. What's this utility? Ah, a map. Handy. Uh, oh, nice, a medical bay. I bet it's going to be powerless. Uh, and another operator thing that was out of power for sure. 
So that's that. Um, Any luck with those turrets? Yeah. Uh, I could have sworn there was more. Oh, that's not worth it, but whatever. Alright. Um, let's go find some turrets. First, let's find some, uh... Oh no, there was a book in here or something. Here. Uh, survivor's account of the evacuation day one. Day one, I had dropped off my dog at the groover, groomer. Her name was Aliza. It means joy. I said goodbye and walked a few blocks to get some cafe bots near the park. Some jets flew over very low, and the sound was so loud it made me jump. I don't know where they were from, but they were bristling with bombs and rockets. Everyone was looking up, and the sound of the jets was echoing off the buildings, but we could not see them anymore. The sky was clear, and I could see pink smoke rising from the direction of the stadium. Then the sirens started. I had not heard them since my childhood. Some people start, stood confused, but my instinct told me to run. Run away from the stadium. Run away from Eliza. Some people were running with me, but we didn't know where to go. I saw a policeman directing people into a basement restaurant. I think it was an old palm shelter. I looked up at the sky again and saw an airliner. It was not military, I am certain. I think it, uh, it was going to the airport. While I watched, it turned into, into glitter without a sound. It was just gone. A man near me began to curse. I fell down and hit my head on the street. I think I read that before a long time ago. Um, that really uh, strongly reminds me of a um, requesting like a uh, a past memory thing of. Um, from Transform Horizon Zero Dawn. Zero oh, jeez, calm down. Diagnosing. No. No, uh, no, if Wiggy, uh, Dr. Igwe is lucky to be here or not. These yeah, Transstar PPN 8 crate. pistols are mostly God, for stop show. talking don't over each other. The uh, with the eradicated turrets. The, the officers collected those supplies. They're not for you. Fine. Well, who are you Morgan? to talk? I thought... I don't know what I thought. It's good to see you. Is Transtar mounting a rescue operation? Yes. Yes, I was they in are. fuel storage when... when the fire broke out and everyone began running. But they weren't running from the fire. It was these shapes. I had contained the fire, and I was trying to reach the power supply when Al, Officer Rose, came and got me out. I'm glad he did. I didn't know what was going on or anything about those things. Everyone I worked with, they're dead, aren't they? I wonder if one of the creatures caused the explosion in fuel storage. Are they intelligent? Did they plan this? I heard all the escape pods malfunctioned. All of them. How is that possible? Hmm. So last time I came into this room, um, she was just like, you know, sitting like this, like she was in a sitting coma. She didn't talk to me at all. So, new info. Uh, accident report to be completed within six hours of incident. Date, time, who cares? Location, fuel storage. Details of incident, the accident occurred during fuel transfer. The blast walls held. Now the blast door is closed and the damage contained, but we lost some crew in there. Power has been knocked out to multiple cargo systems. Can't get the resources I need to get in there. Everyone is tied up. I don't know why I'm filling this out, except I don't know what to, else to do at this point. Telos is falling apart. Ah, uh, who cares about the rest of the form? Good morning. The delivery shovel waited, arrived earlier with chlorine trifluoride aboard. It has been offloaded and awaits you in cargo bay A. 
I need everyone involved with the transfer to review procedures and protocols at the start of their shift today, as you will be the lucky, lucky individuals that get to escort these contents to fuel storage. I don't think I need to remind you what chlorine, chlorine trifluoride will do if you mishandle it. Just ask, e e just ask Enoch. Stick to procedures and everything will be fine. Once it's secured, I'll give you the, all the rest of the shift off. You're welcome, Gerald Wildman. From Enoch. Uh. Mr. Wildman, Dr. Dio Igwe's assignment to your team, assigned to your team. Wow. Dr. Dio Igwe is assigned to your area temporarily. I've encouraged him to stay out of your way and avoid interacting with cargo bay personnel. There are some in incoming materials I'd like him to handle directly. His work is confidential and he answers directly to me. So if you have any issues, please contact my office. Thank you, Dr. Bellamy, who we never found. The word team is nowhere in here. Where did I come up with that? I just like, do I, do I like teams? I'm a, you know, I'm a real team-oriented kind of guy. So if you're watching this and you have a job interview, um, I, I'm also interested in leadership and, um, and, uh, and things like that. Pioneers of space industry. Working aboard a space station like Talos is comparable to working on Earth. Employees tend to forget that they are in space and adapt very well. By contrast, a trove of psychological and behavioral data has been compiled by a decade-long study of Pythias employees. The Pythias facility sits deep in a crater on the lunar pole, permanently enshadowed and surrounded by kilometers of ice. Oh, yeah. I don't know if Pythias is a real thing, but... Um, yeah. Wait, the lunar pole. Oh, the moon. Yeah, that's definitely not a real thing. <clears throat> but, um, the Earth, um, you know, like the, the South Pole and the Arctic, uh, you know, they have survey teams there. They get psychologically messed up. Um, beneath Pythias is a vast network of cramped tunnels where helium-3, hydrogen, and platinum are mined. This is a dark, cold, and often terrifying workplace cut off from the warm glow of Earth, with extracts, which extracts a heavy and often fatal toll on the crew. If you want to um, see a good uh, example of what isolation does to people that um, is only half based on the supernatural. Um, watch this one episode of The X-Files. It's from the first season. Um, I forget the title of it, but um, it's set in a Antarctic, no, an Arctic, yes, the North Pole. Um, a research facility where there must be a um, way to get some turrets online. They have to uh, Mulder and Scully have to go and uh, uh, where the turret fabrication plan is on the um exterior so where is that okay um, Mulder and Scully have to go to this um, isolated place where a bunch of people just <laughs> randomly died all these scientists um, and um, they left this, one of them left this video that, you know, they had to do these, um, sort of vlogs saying what's going on. And the last one's really, like, ominous. And this guy's like, we're not who we are. And, um, th so they go there and everyone's dead except this dog, and, uh... Obviously Mulder's, 
um, saying, you know, aliens did it. And Scully's like, no, they all just um, couldn't take... Detected. They couldn't take the pressure of being away, like, thousands and thousands of miles from society and just went on a murder spree and killed each other for, like, no good reason. Whoops. Okay, you could just... Just kill yourself before I shoot you. That that works even better. You're no you're no good. I really don't want to do with you. That's what fear is. I've been wondering. It makes you go crazy. Oh, and I stunned it. No, don't make me scared. I hate it. plan. It's in the safe. Whoa. Alright. 80, 82. Lock? No. And I got two neuromods out of it. Yay. You found the eradicator schematic. If only How did you know that? Earlier. Keep an eye out for materials to build them. Schematics half the battle. Once they're built, though, oh. I can't wait to see what they do to our new friends. <laughs>